If you would like to replace the tow post on the Cloud Adventure with our new tow loops, which I highly recommend because they are super, super comfortable, then the first step is to unwind the tow strap. Uh, you're just going to, oh, that's the only part you have to remove is the tow strap. And the first step for doing that is getting off this little lace end. And the way you do that is there's, if you look at it, there's a little groove here. Let me move this way up to the camera. Tiny little groove that you can put something sharp in and just pry that open. Uh, so I will do this with a box cutter. By the way, this shoe is in the way just because of this reflection um, on the table. So this is a little tricky to see, I will confess. But if you slide this box cutter in here, give it a little bit of a twist, that pops right off. And then you can unwind the laces. I don't know why I said unwind. It's un whatever it is, un what? Uh, undo, unlace, un something, the laces. And just remove that from the toe post. And then to remove the actual toe post, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Just pop it through. The rubber is pretty flexible. One tip that someone gave me is bending it a little this way. And if you pull, it's like giving birth. <laughs> That'll pop right out. So that's the first step. The second step is to put the toe loop through. And actually, this piece here is a little smaller. There you can see. So it'll pop right through there really easily. So whether you're retrofitting a Cloud or Venture, or if you're just doing this from scratch with one of our DIY kits, the regular four millimeter hole is enough to punch through on a DIY kit and then go in from the back. Just take the, um, this little plastic piece, push it up against the hole, push gently with your thumb, and you'll see it goes right through. And that's that. And you'll see it also seats itself sort of perfectly for the Cloud or Venture right in that little recessed area. For the do-it-yourself kit, um, that's a really small thing, and you'll notice that you really don't feel that underneath your foot because that's gonna be in between your toes uh, and in front of the webbing of your toes, so you're not gonna notice that. It's actually smaller than the knot we would have you make in the lace with our regular do-it-yourself kit instructions. The next step, of course, is to feed the lace back through here. Now this, frankly, is a little bit tricky because it's a very tiny hole that we've made in there. So what you're gonna wanna do is grab a lighter, be careful, and I'm sort of immune to this, I've been doing this for so long. Um, heat that and melt that into a bit of a point. And then you should be able to slide that through. Again, pardon the bad camera angles, but you'll get the idea because it's not rocket science. That slides through, and if you were uh, retrofitting the Cloud or Venture, then you're just going to relace it. Um, the technique for doing that, may as well show you that. Go back through this knot here. I'll get my fingers out of the way in a second, I promise. There we go. So back through. Then you're going to lace through the ankle hole again. Let's do that one at a time. One. And loop back around itself through the hardware from the heel strap. And then you just reattach this piece of hardware by sliding the ends of the lace in there. This is easier to do with a pliers if you need it. Uh, just snap that closed, and now you have retrofitted the Cloud or Adventure or your DIY kit with the new lace loop. Enjoy!